is heavy. Oh, oh yeah! One, two, three. Oh. Hey everybody, welcome back. If you've been watching me for years, you probably get the homage, homage, the reference to the box stack. Do you remember the last time we did a box stack? Man, it might have been 2017 when we did an unboxing video for a brand new comic back then. Brand new comic called Dreamers Echo Volume 1. To preserve a sense of tradition on this channel, I'm going to be unboxing another brand new comic book never before seen on this channel or anywhere else. This is the first time I've cracked open these boxes and looked at this comic book face to face. Um, I'm very nervous. Didn't have enough time to get a proof done, but uh, the people at the printing company were amazing and they gave me a digital proof that looked just as real, so I trust them. And let's see if they're worthy of that trust, okay? All these boxes that I haven't even opened yet, but <laughs> this is like my new background now that it's just boxes. Like, these car parts I have yet to put on the car. I'm slowly getting more and more time to do so. First, we have to open these boxes carefully and gently open these brand new comic books release the blade so if you followed me on social media over the last year or so you may have noticed that I I was hired on to do another comic book that's outside of Dreamers Echo, completely in a different realm of illustration I've never done before. Full color digital comic. 50 pages. I did add a few extra pages to get that graphic novel appeal, <clears throat> but if you followed along over the year or so, basically it was a pandemic project. Uh, we were kickstarting, me and my buddy Ed, we were kickstarting a brand new comic for his series called Joe. Just an ordinary earthling. J-O-E. See what he did there? Oh my god, these guys. It's like a mattress in here. There's so much packing material. Okay, I see a little preview of it. I see a little, I see a face. So, Ed and I, we collaborated on this brand new comic book called Earth Eminent Domain. It's the sequel to his book called Joe, Just an Ordinary Earthling. So this is part two. In graphic novel form and oh my lord. Oh my stars, I should say. It has a lot of packing. I can definitely respect the people who printed this up and oh ho 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 ho. Look at these babies. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. <laughs> these things are so good. I'm so glad I splurged and I paid the extra $25 for uh, laminated covers and laminated pages. Whew. Oh, this is the first time I've ever seen my, my work as a full color graphic novel. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I really hope I've got all the page orders right. <laughs> I mean, I reviewed, we both, Ed and I, reviewed the proof from end to end many times. So you're going to get a quality product when you purchase Earth Eminent Domain. But first, before anyone else can touch this after me and Ed, the Kickstarter backers are going to be the first people to get this in their hands and read it. Um, there's also a digital version coming out, but if you prefer to read comics, you know, face to face like I do, then you're going to want to wait to get your shipment in. I'm going to start shipping all these out to all the Kickstarter backers who I am absolutely incomprehensibly thankful for. All the people out there who took a, a risk and a chance to help two new creators on their first collaboration. Uh, you guys are the world to us, seriously, amazing. The list is in here, the very first thing you see, the Kickstarter backers right there in the front. God, that page, look at that. Look at that. That's profesh. Whoo, that thing is popping. Look at how vibrant that space travel looks. And then you've got this space debris field. <laughs> this was one of my favorite pages and panels. All this space debris is like a, a ring in this universe. It's a ring that formed around Earth because of all the endless sci-fi content that we've had over the years. He thinks it's a defensive barrier. <laughs> Every single one is a reference to a famous sci-fi prop. Um, but yeah, that looks amazing. I'm so glad that it translated from my iPad to an actual comic book and, and it looks like something you should see in a comic store shelf. That's what we were trying to go for. We we're trying to make it look as real and as professional and as enticing to buyers out there as possible. So I'm really happy with how this is turning out. 
Ugh, it looks so cool. Let's just do a quick fan through the pages so you can get a feel for what Earth Eminent Domain is all about and just the general amazingness of this comic. I mean, it looks as, oh, I love this page. It's like a music video, this page. You'll see there's a lot of music references, not just sci-fi or fantasy. There's a lot of music references as well. Oh man, all of these. These action scenes are turning out to just be so captivating looking and, and vibrant. And one of the things I wanted to do with my color in drawing this is I wanted it to look vibrant and realistic at the same time, but also a little cartoony, you know? Look at that, look at that nature scene. I can't draw nature worth crap. I had to practice so much for almost a year. I had to practice backgrounds before we jumped in with the comic. I mean, it's, it sounds bad, but thank God we had the, the time with the pandemic and the lock lockdowns to practice our our skills, right? Wow, that's freaking amazing. <laughs> These pages look just so colorful, bold. It, it just looks alive. I don't wanna go too far, I don't wanna spoil it. Uh, but yeah, in the back, there's also chapter one of his original books, so you can kind of get the feel of the universe that Ed is creating. And now, Earth, Eminent Domain, which is hilarious, I just noticed. Eminent Domain, E-D, Ed, is the name of the guy who wrote this. Amazing. <laughs> You made it your own, Ed. Everyone, if you want a copy of Earth Eminent Domain in digital, it's not ready yet, but head to the Amazon link that will be created soon when this officially releases to the public. Buy it! It's gonna be, I don't know, about $10, maybe 15? I know the physical copy will be 15, maybe the digital one will be about eight or nine. We'll see, we'll see. But go out there and support Ed. He's a great author and just an amazing person to collaborate with. And I'm so thankful that I got to be a part of it. And if you want the physical copy, head to my website, head to Ed's website. We're gonna have a link up there where you can just send us money on PayPal and we'll ship it out to you. It's gonna be 15 plus shipping, so Support independent comics, support independent authors. We are here to give you original content that you've never seen or heard of before in your life. Let me know in the comments if you want a copy. We'll figure something out, we'll send it directly to you even before it posts publicly online. Um, and Kickstarter backers, you're getting your copy as soon as possible. Before we sign off, I wanted to do one more thing that I used to do back in the day. I'm gonna do some Fan Art Friday. How about that? Why don't we just go ahead and share these two pieces I've chosen for Fan Art Friday. <laughs> this first one, possibly the third and final wood burning from longtime super patron, one of my most supportive and just all around amazing fans and friends out there. It's from Brittany. And this is what might be the, her third and final wood burning fan art. And it is of two characters. They're from the Dreamer Psycho universe. So it's officially fan art, but it's actually from Mondrea Memories, the podcast prequel story. And it is none other than the two main characters, Donovan and Hazel. Look at that. So I don't know if she knew this, but as she was burning this out and creating it, and then she uh, applied this gloss sealant over it to create that shiny effect, this may have been by accident because uh, I, don't, I don't know, it was sent I think in the summer, so it was warm. But maybe the sealant hadn't fully cured or settled in, but the bubble wrap she put it in created a texture effect all across the front. Look at the, the cool like circular texture effect that you get from that bubble wrap almost merging to it while it was sitting in a hot mailbox for a few hours. <laughs> Still, I think it's amazing. It gives it a most unique gleam to it that you never see with any other wood burning or painting or anything. So again, Brittany, thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. You've been there since pretty much the beginning and you've given me some amazing, unique fan art. I put so much energy and time into Donovan and Hazel just to see a piece of fan art. It, it just means the world to me, so. Thank you again, Brittany. Let me just go get the other two, I'll show you. Whoa, I almost dropped it. <laughs> All right, so we've got the original, the crew from Dreamer's Echo. You've got Gora, and it's also a tribute to my dog, Hatter, because she painted uh, Gora black, which is perfect, because my dog is black. So it's kind of a, a hybrid between the two. And then you've got Mondria Memories on the top there. What amazing work. I mean, when are you gonna see something like a wood burning for fan art? That's, that's just going the extra mile. Thanks again. Uh, but now, 
let me move on to the second uh, fan art that I'd like to share with you on this Fan Art Friday. This one has an interesting story to it that actually has kind of formed me into the artist I am today. And this is from Komenu, an astonishing capture of Gora in his natural habitat. I just love this image. Gora was an absolute blast to create. So whenever I see Gora fan art, I inside I squeal like a little girl because this is my fantasy creature. I've never been able to draw fantasy creatures and I've always loved them since never any story with the Falcor, right? The big old dog dragon, okay? I figured I wanted to make a dog dragon of my own, but I also love griffins. So I kind of combine like the lion aspects of the griffin, some scales. You've got the Chinese dragon whiskers and a big old tail. The reason why this is so special to me and why I have it in a sheet protector, I do protect all the fan art I get, by the way. This one is printed on special Canon Luster Pro paper. When I was first starting out my art printing business, I was looking for the perfect printer that could be affordable and nice to to me, not bully me all the time like all the other printers. And But this printer has so far treated me really well. And Komenu happened to get one before I did and told me all about it and was like, yeah, it's an amazing printer. You need to get this printer. I know you've been in the market for a printer so you can start a print business. This is it. This is the printer you need. I'm going to make a test print for you. And it's still one of the most high quality prints I've ever, ever received. Thank you, Komenu, for such an amazingly vibrant capture of Gora's personality, this adorable pose. It's just something I've always appreciated. I had this hanging up on my wall actually at work. I saw it every day. It's a reminder of how it's so helpful to network with other artists and hear what they have learned with their knowledge, you know, all the risks that they've taken to create the cool things that they do. Everyone out there is on a mission to do the best thing possible. So whenever we can get people who you can connect with, like whenever you have your artist friends, you know that they have tips and tricks that they're willing to share. That's what half my channel is based on. I want you to be able to have smooth sailing and take the smoothest road possible out on your art journey. I have a whole series dedicated to that called Entrepreneurs, where I just share how to be an artist entrepreneur start your own business. So this print right here basically helped me launch my own art business. Thank you so much for this fan art. I will treasure it forever, just like I treasure all of it. But we've reached the end of this video. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, welcome. Everyone out there, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe because this is a, an original YouTube channel. It really is. It's been around for like eight years. Everything you see is going to be so full of variety. You never know what I'm going to do next. Hopefully you like it too. So thank you so much for joining me. And we'll see you in the next one. And I, I've got, I've got some books to ship out. So we'll see you later.